the zero point energy according to Debye model. Show that the zero point energy of a solid according to Debye model is 9R universal gas constant Debye temperature theta Debye divided by 8. So let's remember the energy of a quantum harmonic oscillator. The energy of a quantum mechanical oscillator or quantum harmonic oscillator is given by E sub n is equal to our quantum number n n plus 1 over 2 h bar reduced Planck's constant times omega angular frequency. Now n equals to 0 is our zero point energy so e sub 0 would be 1 over 2 h bar omega. So this is the zero point energy. Okay, <clears throat> now if we take the average value of the zero point energy over all modes, all the normal modes in the Debye model, these are the modes in the acoustical branch, we would obtain one half h bar average value of omega. And how do we obtain the average value of omega? So this is 1 over 2 h bar. Now we have the maximum possible omega is the Debye angular frequency, omega Debye. Omega multiplied by the density of states, d of omega, d omega. So that's basically uh, the probability of finding an angular frequency omega is given by d of omega d omega remember this is basically giving us the number of modes with uh, uh, frequencies in the range omega to omega plus d omega so uh, this is going to be equal to 1 over 2 h bar now we have to perform this integral 0 to omega d by omega times the density of states we have obtained in the lecture to be 3v divided by 2 pi square uh, multiplied by omega square over speed of sound cube d omega and this gives us uh, 3v over 4 pi squared h bar over speed of sound cube multiplied by so we have omega square and another omega here omega cube gives us omega to the fourth power over four and zero to omega d by will give us omega d by to the fourth power over four and remember that the d by temperature theta d by is h bar omega d by divided by the Boltzmann constant kb. Now <clears throat> the result we have obtained for the average value of the zero point energy E0 is uh, we have 3v on top and then we have 4 times 4 16 p square uh, vs cube so 16 pi square speed of sound cube uh, then we have uh, if we uh, introduce the by temperature here h bar omega d by over uh, kt so we have h bar omega d by we have to multiply and divide by kb so let's do that i multiply and 
divide by the Boltzmann constant. So I will obtain a Debye temperature here. So this is going to be theta Debye. I have multiplied it with Boltzmann constant and omega Debye cube because I have used one of the omega Debye's in h bar omega Debye over k. Okay, so uh, this gives me Now I have um, 3v over 16 pi square speed of sound cube, Debye temperature, Boltzmann constant multiplied by omega Debye cube. So omega Debye was 6 pi square number density, capital N over V to the power one third. So this is basically cube. So the one third disappears and multiplied with speed of sound. This becomes speed of sound cube. Remember omega Debye was a six pi square capital N over V to the power one third, which is K Debye multiplied by speed of sound. So uh, what we see here is that the V's will uh, disappear. So we are going to get rid of this V and this V. And then we will have uh, this 6 becoming 3, this 16 uh, becoming 8. Uh, so therefore we obtain uh, 3 times 3, 9 over 8. So we're, we're going to obtain a 9 over 8. And then uh, we get rid of the pi squares. So pi squares will cancel. Uh, so this pi square will disappear. And the speed of sound cube will disappear. So I will obtain 9 over 8. The by temperature Boltzmann constant times the number of atoms. For the number of atoms being equal to Avogadro's number, that is to say we have one mole, uh, Avogadro's number times Boltzmann constant is the universal gas constant R. So we find that the zero point energy averaged over all uh, modes will give us 9 over 8 the by temperature times the universal gas constant R. Okay, so the question was to show the zero point energy of a solid according to the by model is 9R the by temperature over 8. R is the universal gas constant. First, we remember the energy of a quantum harmonic oscillator is n plus 1 half h bar omega. Next, we set n equals 0, h bar omega over 2 is the zero point energy. The zero point energy averaged over all modes uh, in the acoustic branch will be the integral from 0 to omega d by omega multiplied by the probability density of omega, which is density of states d omega. And density of states we have obtained in the lecture 3v over 2 pi square omega square over speed of sound cube. So let's write it explicitly here. Density of states d of omega d omega was uh, 3v omega squared divided by 2 pi squared speed of sound cube d omega. And when I perform this integral, everything comes outside except this omega to, to third power d omega, which is omega to 4 over 4 when integrated 0 to omega d by becomes omega d by over 4. If I multiply top and bottom with Boltzmann constant, I obtain h bar omega d by over kb is d by temperature and this is going to become omega d by cube by temperature kb omega d by cube and the rest is basically 3v over 16 pi square speed of sound cube and when i substitute for d by angular frequency 6 pi square n over v to the power one third times speed of sound uh, i obtain 9 over 8 d by temperature kb n for n equals avogadro's number one mole 
Avogadro's number times Boltzmann constant is universal gas constant, so we obtain the desired result 9 over 8 theta d by times r.